This is Damon from Windhill Growers, and uh, today we're going to be talking about making IMO. IMO is indigenous microorganisms, and it's at the core of our Korean natural farming techniques. So it's harvesting local microorganisms to inoculate them uh, into your compost, your soil. Um, you can spray your plants with them, and it's to create diversity in your microorganisms and also just to create uh, kind of high volumes of uh, microbial inoculants. It's super easy. So we have this box here. You see there's holes in the bottom uh, that lets the microorganisms in to get access to the food. And then we have, this is a kilo of cooked rice. So we're going to put the rice in the box. One of the things we like about this process is it's super cheap, super simple way to make your own microbial inoculants. And uh, there's a lot of microbial inoculants available commercially, but they're expensive. Also, the ones that are grown in a lab aren't going to be the same as the ones you collect from your local environment. They're adapted to our local environment, right? So we're growing in a particular environment, particular climate, moisture, humidity, uh, soil type. And these microorganisms are the ones that have survived, thrived, and evolved in our local environment. So they give the plants and the soil what they need. And this process is the process of like harvesting them from the environment and then multiplying them over uh, over the course of several steps. Um, so you're kind of like, oh, capturing is not the right word, I guess, uh, uh, inviting. You're inviting the microorganisms to come into your rice, and then you're breeding them to use as an inoculant for your soil and for your plants. So usually we wrap it up with a big piece of cheesecloth. Today we're using a couple napkins. Basically we wrap the bottom to keep uh, the rice in the box and we wrap the top to keep uh, dirt and debris out of it and that's pretty much it wrap it up put it in the ground and then we'll cover it with just something to keep animals out you can use like a hardware cloth or or um, even just like a board or a pallet will usually work we actually haven't had a lot of problems with animal damage uh, surprisingly what they say about this is you're supposed to be doing this throughout your season, right? So you kind of continuously, like we do it weekly, we'll make IMO weekly and continue to harvest. And you get different sets of bacteria or different sets of microorganisms from different locations. So they say to put it in the most extreme areas of your local environment. So um, where it's particularly cold, like they say like the top of the mountain or the top of a hill or, um, you know, by the river, by a pond, in the forest. And in each case, you're getting a different set of microorganisms. So we're cultivating a diverse microbiome in order to give the microbes the opportunity to compete and grow and evolve in our soil and with our plants. So we're getting kind of the best of all worlds within our local environment. We got this out of the ground. It's been in there for seven days. So now we're gonna see if it worked and what we've got in here. Oh, <laughs> this is like Julia Child. It's like, you know, it's, it's fine. It's all good. <laughs> it's uh, what happens in the kitchen stays in the kitchen. Uh, yeah, so this is what we got. Uh, this is our IMO. You see there's a little bit of pink and a little bit of white. A little bit of green forming, that's trichoderma. I forget what the pink stuff is. But this is all one solid mass now. And so this has the stuff in it. Um, and if it was a little warmer, because it's Maine, it's uh, still pretty cool. If it was a little warmer, we'd get more like uh, more greens, uh, which is like penicillium. It's kind of crazy, but it smells really good. Uh, you wouldn't expect rice, cooked rice, sitting in the ground for a week to smell good, but it does. So what I'm going to do is just tear this vessel and then we're weighing our starting material, our rice.
And so you're going to add equal parts by weight of the rice, IMO, and sugar. This is a nice organic, unrefined sugar. Vessel's a little small. So now we thoroughly mix the rice and the sugar, um, the IMO. And what this is going to do is the microorganisms that were in the rice were uh, enjoying themselves in this lovely carbohydrate substrate. The sugar is going to pull the, uh, the moisture out of the rice and it's going to cause the microbes to die. When they die, they sporulate. And so you're going to have, we're going to have all the spores uh, for the indigenous microorganisms uh, kind of suspended in our uh, IMO, in our sugar uh, substance. And then when we inoculate them into water or whatever substrate, then they go crazy and all those spores germinate. And then we got the magic. It actually feels at first quite dry and firm. And then the sugar's pulling all that moisture out of the rice. So it's becoming um, really wet. And what you'll see over time when we put it in the vessel here is um, you'll see they actually, it actually separates out. The sugar kind of pulls all the water out of the rice. And so you'll have a, a solid part and a liquid part. So now we're just going to cover this with a cheesecloth so no bugs get in and leave it in a cool dark place for a week. Uh, and that's going to be our IMO2. This is what we get after a week of fermentation. It smells kind of sour, kind of like sake actually, which, which makes sense. Uh, and it's super active, it's bubbling. From here, we're gonna make a uh, liquid IMO and you can use that for soil drench on your plants or foliar spray. Basically, you're creating a diverse microbial environment for your plants. It's gonna help to fend off any fungal pathogens. So that's like powdery mildew or uh, botrytis, bud rot. Uh, and it will also help break down any of the nutrients in the soil. So when you fertilize and then you add IMO, it helps to break down the nutrients, chelate the nutrients and make them uh, easily digestible by the plant digestible. <laughs> uh, this is IMO2 and you can use it, you can inoculate this into uh, wheat bran, rice bran, something of that nature, like a nutritive substrate. And then subsequently each time there, a week passes, you can add it to compost and have inoculated compost, and then you can inoculate that into soil. And each time you're increasing your amount of substrate and eventually into large amounts of soil um, that, will be, uh, that will be inoculated, that will be microbially rich. We're gonna show you the process of making it into IMO3, 4, and 5 in future videos. Uh, for right now, making the liquid IMO is easy and we're gonna have that recipe in the description. So if you like what we're doing here, please like, please subscribe. Um, check out that recipe in the description and give your plants some IMO.